the guys they they've done a you know a really good job this summer. You know, in the summertime, you know, a lot of that stuff's on their own. We can't be you know around them much. Obviously, the strength coaches are, but we're not around them much. So I think the the starting point this this fall was much better than when we ended, even in the spring. And, you know, Creed's a, obviously Creed helps a lot. You know, we had two guys in there that really fought and really battled, but that kind of solidifies the inside, you know, for us in there. So, you know, I feel good about where we are, but, you know, we're, we're like anybody else in the country. I mean, we, we've got a long ways to go. And even the group that we had last year, as good as they were, it's just about constant improvement. You got to pr- improve every week. And, you know, up to this point, we've had five practices. I think we've gotten better, you know, every day. So I like where we're at. I like where we're going. But again, with that being said, we've got a long ways to go, and we got to keep improving. Bill, can you talk about the challenges of R.J. Proctor teaching him so much so quick? And now he's really, he's really, really smart. Sorry to cut you. Did I cut you off there? Sorry. He he's a really, really smart kid, and he came in. You know, I think he graduated. You know, the second week of May, and he was here right away. Um, so he's really, really studied, but he's a smart kid. He was coached well, you know, at Virginia. So again, that goes back to experience. He's had a lot of experience. I think he started 11 games, played in 28 games. And those are the things you can't replace. Obviously there's some different techniques, different schemes, all those things, but he can associate it to something that he's done before, even though we may call it something a little bit different. Um, but he's, he's done a good job up to this point, you know, really picking things up. Um, he's he's a smart kid. He's a tough kid. He's got good some good strength, good athleticism. So, been really pleased with him so far. He said he's working left and right, but are you trying to tackle as well, or give him a shot? Or he'll take some reps at tackle. You know, right now, you know, we can't. I mean, I don't want to roll guys at three different positions if I, if I can help it. Now, at some point here, you know, once probably after these next three days, we may move some guys around a little bit more. But, yeah, I mean, you can't practice three positions in one day, you know. So he's doing some, you know, walk-through stuff. He'll, he'll do tackle. He'll take some sets of tackle on his own. Obviously, as the right guard, I'm not going to play him at left tackle right now, but I, I probably will roll him some at right tackle. At right guard, he has to understand what the right tackle's doing, so he's understanding the scheme and all those things. It's, and it's not as easy as people think, you know. Just going from left guard to right guard is different. Mm-hmm. Now you're talking about left guard, right guard, and right tackle with a new guy. So... Um, but we'll, we'll try him there some at some point here after the next three days. Well, Bill, then what like is to watch him uh, work or actually learn under a, a younger guy like Creed. You know, you know it's been really good. Him. You know, he came in here and he was actually, you know, Creed's been the vocal guy. Marquise has stepped up some in that area. Tyrese, Adrian, all those guys have really stepped up with their leadership. But he came in, which kind of shocked me because you wouldn't think that, but he came in being the leader just a little bit that I could meet with them and I could walk through with those guys. You know, he was, you know, getting on guys and the younger dudes and saying, hey, this is what we got to do. So it was pretty impressive from, from that they aspect. Must, they must really like him, I guess, right? Is he a likable guy? Yeah, he is. Yeah, he is. And they these guys want to win. You know what I mean? I mean, we, we got to have depth. We got to have guys, you know. And, and the good thing about this group and every group I've had is obviously there's competition, but the ultimate goal is to win. Everybody wants to start. We can only start five guys. You know, but um, everybody wants to win, so they've kind of, you know, they understand that we need guys for competition, for depth. So they've they've helped them a bunch. Other than Ely and, and um, um, you can't get one in there, James. <laughs> Other than uh, Ely and, and Swinson, who else are you working at tackle? Finley. Finley. Well, Finley with the, we got okay. two different groups. Okay. Finley with the the A, what we call the A group that, that nobody has a position, and we have who Mike, Stacy, Bryce Roberts, and Swaby. You know, working with the B group. How open is that competition well, outside of Creed? I'm coming back here. I'm behind. But uh-huh. uh, how open is it outside of Creed um, along the offensive line? Well, you think Creed's got a spot? <laughs> <laughs> I projected that he does. Yeah, yeah. so do I. But um, <laughs> it is. It's it's really open. No, mm-hmm. it, it really is open. I mean, we uh, we don't have any. I have an idea. You know, just like last year, I had an idea. I'm not going to say it, but. I have an idea of mm-hmm. right now if the guys keep progressing where we're going to be. I feel good with six, seven guys right now. Hopefully we can get to eight or nine. Again, I feel good with six or seven if they keep progressing. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we can get to eight or nine. But it really is open. You know, I like you know the young freshmen. They're freshmen, but they have all the tools. They've got to learn it. You know, that, that's the hard thing about playing offensive line. As a, offensive lineman as a freshman is – 
even if you have the physical skills, the mental skills are the challenge. And then even if you're really smart, sometimes you don't have the physical skills. So, I mean, it, that, that's tough. But I, I really like those freshmen that are here. They're competing. They're playing hard. Those guys, I mean, we just don't have a lot of depth. You know, so those guys are getting every opportunity, and they're they're getting better every day. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, we, we haven't named anybody starter yet. What are you playing Bray and Daryl right now? Bray is right guard, and then Daryl is left guard and right guard. During the, during Big 12 media day, when I was talking to Creed, he said, as far as he's concerned, there's five spots open. Obviously, you were just joking. So, yeah, he does. But what does that <laughs> mean as far as you're concerned with his mindset? What do you mean? Like, as far as just his overall mindset as a leader, as just he, – he said that he doesn't have a spot. Guaranteed. Yeah. Well, and he he's self motivated, which I I really think we've got a lot of guys that are self motivated because, again, we don't have a ton of depth. We've got bodies, but we've got young dudes. You know, I mean, so obviously those guys got to develop. And I don't think anybody, even the guys that are taking first team reps, have said, "Okay, I'm the starter." At least I don't see that. I see progression every day. So. I feel like we got a bunch of self-motivated guys. Lincoln told us a story down in Dallas about how Orlando Brown went from spring where you just wondered what it was going to be like, summer, and then came back in the fall, just a different person, different player. Are you seeing any leaps like that with your current roster? Um, I, I've seen it in all the I, – I really have seen it in everybody. Now, to say that they're going to be Orlando Brown, no, I'm not saying that, but I've seen – I mean, again, it wasn't a great we, – we've talked about this. It wasn't a great spring. We got better, you know what I mean, but nowhere near – where it need to be. But again, we're way ahead of that. So those guys, every guy has taken a big jump in their progression. But again, it wasn't great to start. Now, again, like I said, I, I feel pretty good about where we are today with the progression that we made as long as we continue to keep make, making those jumps. Bill, you brought up Bryce Roberts. Curious about him. What's his transition? Do you know what? Offensive line been like? It's actually been. I didn't know. You know, through the spring, I saw in the spring game some glimpses. This, you know, starting out this fall, I was unsure. He's had a couple pretty good practices. You know what I mean? But um, so we'll see with him. He's put on a lot of weight. You know, he's uh, he's an athletic kid. It's just the techniques. You know, the fundamentals that he has to get down. Bill, as you put more guys into the NFL, what's it like for you personally to? I see those guys on TV, see those guys on social media. You know, it's good. It's it's obviously a good feeling. I mean, the, but the biggest thing to me really is, um, and, and the people at those, those are great kids. You know what I mean? And, and that's why you, know, you work so hard mm -hmm. to help them get to that level. You know what I mean? They all aspire to play at the NFL. Obviously, everybody can't. But, you know, that's the best thing. You know, they're, they're great kids. They're great people. They're going to be great parents and husbands. That's really the most important thing to me. But, again, then helping them achieve their goal of being an NFL player. Time for two more. Bill, uh, Lincoln, you guys in the program can get, I would just guess, maybe shoes and apparel whenever you want. But Lincoln yeah, I knew the other that day. was coming. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lincoln, actually pretty Lincoln, funny. Lincoln mentioned the other day you got a new Hey, you like my shoes? shoes? Was it really for the I'll first I'll probably time? have these for the next four years. <laughs> How did you go about it? It really wasn't for, I mean, it was pretty close. It's pretty accurate. You know what I mean? I got stuff at home. It's, my wife buys, but it still has tags on it. You know? <laughs> I wear the same thing every day. I really don't care. Why do you, uh, have you always been like that? Or just, I really, you know, I, yeah, probably. I, I'm more comfort. You know, I don't, you know, I don't care what it looks like. You right. know what I mean? So when I find something that's comfortable, I keep, keep wearing it. Well, not to harp on your shoes too long, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> picking them out. Like when you were like, I'm going to get a pair, new pair. Do you look through? Well, no. See, you know what? It? Actually, I have a pair of shoes from Arizona. I, I coached Arizona how many? You know, 11 years ago. Mm -hmm. Maybe hell, maybe longer than that. But <laughs> if they feel good, you know what I mean. That's it. They look good too, I think, but they mm -hmm. feel good. That that's really the only thing that matters. So you know, is that from Arizona? These? Yeah. No, these are the ones they give us. Oh, okay. Those yeah. are the ones you're wearing before. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't yeah, buy yeah. shoes. Mm -hmm. So does that mean you just clothes. have like 10 boxes of them and you'll just get to them when you get to them? Dude, these? I'll give them it. away. But I mean, you yeah. have backups, like when you get, you know, throw these away after a year. and just. No, I'll probably get a new again. pair in about three years. Okay. The ones that fit good or feel but good. But if you get the ones you like, you see what I'm saying? All right, we're done. If you give them away, what size are they? They're 10 and a half. Tyler's a big shoe guy. All right, thank you guys.